Podcast. Hello and welcome to A Starman Talk to Talks. I am your host, Devin. With me is Billy, Cody, and David. Woo! Hey, everybody. Greetings to everyone. And boy, guys, let's talk about those toy guns back in the day. <laughs> and just how well made they were. Oh, God. The more realistic, the better. Yep. So, before we start this, we were talking about uh, me and Billy had cap guns that like, were six shooters. Yeah. Made of actual metal. Yeah. Uh, yours was painted gold or. I, I think it was gold, gold or just something. Cast and gold. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think it was pure gold, obviously. No. Yeah. <laughs> really stupid for a kid's toy. I like that one. Was, that was how that opened my pants with the golden gun from Bond. Yeah. The funny thing is, I had a, I think it was a cap gun, revol- revolver too, kind of copper, but it converted to a long barrel. Okay, I think I know what you're talking like about. Like a barrel, like, you'd flip the barrel down and it would, like, turn into a snub nose. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> so it was like an iron sight one, but then it just turned into a, like, a 38 snub. Yeah. And I also had this, like, um, like, electronic one. Okay. Not a cap gun, but, like, it was one that you push a button, the (coughs) clip would pop out, like, would eject. God, that thing was awesome. No, fair enough. Yeah, well. That was like the cast iron one that I had because you could actually literally pistol whip someone with it. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> yeah, I done one that was like the silver cast iron one. Yeah, it, was, it had to have to, and you could seriously do some damage yeah. with it. The only one, the only captain I saw that I never got was that one was the Desert Eagle. Fair enough. That would be cool. Yeah, I saw that at like a doll show. I'm like. That would be sweet. <laughs> My friend had one that's like a Gatling gun, cap gun. Oh. So it uses a string of cap yeah. guns. Oh, or yeah, caps. The, uh, yeah, the, uh, the cap strips. So what yeah. Oh, yeah. You just feed it through them. Nice. Holy crap. <clears throat> I, hey, you guys have actually had any of those cap guns where you had to like, use these cap strips? No, I had... I had a, Dick Tracy action figures that used them. Wow. Yeah, for some reason, like, you put the cap gun through the guy's ass or something. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> basically, when you pull his legs together, you, like, snap yeah. the cap and you're supposed to make it look like he's using his gun. Like, uh, kicking <laughs> toys. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, looking back, I was like, Huh, they could have made better design choices yeah. on where to load the cap yeah. and how to activate it. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, so, he had to put the cap in his ass. I think. It's been a while since I've had yeah. this toy. Yeah. I don't Oh, wow. Now, I had a two uh, like Western Revolver set that had the, the cap rolls that you had to use. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember those little spark shooter toys like you crank something and yeah. you just shoot sparks. Vaguely? Yeah. Which particular toy did that? Um, oh, there were I know I had a robot that did that. Ah. Like you'd crank the thing on the back and right. in his chest would start lighting up because it just shot sparks all over the place. Oh, yeah. Because of the flint and all that. <laughs> yeah. Um, they were on that I might have another one thing, but the one I remember was uh, was like a KFC or Taco Bell toy for Star Wars. Yeah. That did it. Oh, yeah. I remember this because I caught something on fire with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Fuck mar- the whole family. Yeah, marketing for to save uh, toys there. <laughs> the little spark shooters probably got recalled for a reason. <laughs> yeah, I had one. It was like a laser pistol. Oh, uh, okay. So every time you... Pull the trigger, it... It would uh, spark. Right. Yeah. yeah. 
See, that's fair. And, like, if you did that rapidly enough, yeah. you could probably catch the thing on fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dad? What? Ah, uh, my room's gone. So is the rest of the house, son. And so are you, and you're going to be in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> It's so tragic when yeah. Cody died in that fire. <laughs> <laughs> Do we really want to use the word tragic? Yeah. Well, we're going to try to cover it up oh, somehow. Some, All yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> Just at his funeral. Pretend to be sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh no, he is dead. <laughs> I sad now. <laughs> just remind yourself the thing is supposed to be catered and it's not. <laughs> it's just not fair, damn it! <laughs> oh, yeah, that toy. What toy are you thinking of? Um, I'm trying to remember what it was made of, but it was one of those, like, sort of slime, some kind of material. It was like a string with a hand, and you'd swing it at the wall. Oh, the stick slap things. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. You got them in, like, the 25 cent things, usually. Oh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, the thing was, it was like, you... Through it, it's and or you whipped it, it would just stick to whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I. Uh, another like a board game made it like an iguana tongue. I did it. Yeah. I don't know. We had. I know. We had those things. Then the shoot out. We just flinged it and we played uh, darts with them. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how would you play darts with? Them? Uh, well, we had a wooden like dart. We had like wooden like target thing. Okay. And... Just flung it at him. That's how we played it. Okay. <laughs> nice. I remember you got the sticky balls of just yeah. basically a ball form of that, and you just threw it and stuck to whatever surface yeah. it hit. Nice. Now <laughs> think back. I remember like you know, I remember like a bunch of the water guns. I have a, I have I have water pistols. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember. Uh, uh, I think it was like we had the block accident my senior high school, and just after that we would have go have a water gun like water fight, right? And my principal, coolest principal ever, yeah. like we, they, they was going to talk to my other vice principal. This was in his ears. Yes, it's kind of my attention that many of you in the auditorium are stroking guns. Because <laughs> <laughs> like I don't think I joked after uh, that day. Hey, uh, Tomo. Like, I wish I was able to turn up the best in the Boondock Saints and had all the guns. guns. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was crazy, man. There was one guy there. It was like, well, guys, who <laughs> <with> six guns? <laughs> <laughs> no, I had uh, the one that had the, the tank on the back. Oh, yeah. It's literally like, like a water flamethrower. Yeah. <laughs> so, a water thrower? Yeah. <laughs> I think my buddy had one where you can put the ice in. Oh, yes. Ugh. Well, I know I filled the tank with ice water, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> It had, like, three different nozzles, so, like, I could do the, um... Like, a spray yeah. stream. <laughs> and I forget what the third one was. was another variation of, like, yeah water. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the most evilest toy for her sadistic Devin to have. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My friend tra thought he'd be clever and like uh, he filled up his water guns with uh, water and then put them in the freezer. Oh god! That. So he's like, oh yeah, I'll have a. Uh, Frozen water like Devin. Tries to squirt me. Uh, why isn't this working? Did you freeze the gun? <laughs> yeah. 
That's why. <laughs> and squirt. <laughs> That's for being stupid. <laughs> oh, oh, that's when he just he needs to pull the trigger and it breaks. <laughs> oh, whole thing collapses on yeah. itself. Uh oh. <laughs> like no, it was just so froze he could not pull the trigger. I just like to think it's that scene from Duck Dodgers where he tries to trigger and it just disintegrates. Oh, yeah, the disintegration guy. It disintegrates itself. Yep. <laughs> um, was it technically a toy gun? With, uh, I had the, um, I had this, the barrel, of, like a stock barrel of the O22. Nice. So. Cool. <laughs> I'm really the guns that shot the little red rubber darts. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The, those dart guns, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the ones that actually kind of hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the ones, the, the, the rubber tip, the plastic. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> and then you get, like, sadistic Devin shakes the rubber tip off. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, you dick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we still had the mouth closed that one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. It's a regular choking hazard already. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope you didn't get the pizza thrower thing. Oh, the uh, turtles had this mighty oh. pizza thrower thing. <laughs> like, I don't know what it was called, but. Yeah, I'm going to show sit on it. It would launch these plastic pizza things. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I really hope you didn't have one of those. I didn't have that, but I had a Michelangelo that when you pulled the arm back, it shot the little plastic pizza things. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess it's not as bad. <laughs> no. Like, it's just the water dam version of that, but yeah. Yes. <laughs> Still, how many kids did you kill with that? Mame. Yeah. We'll use the word mame. Mame. Yeah. No one dies. Nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How many kids did you injure? No one, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh. But you irritated a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> you irritated a lot of kids, and I decapitated a, uh, another Michelangelo. Because I was wondering what would happen if you put a washer in there instead of a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> And then it didn't launch, so me and my brother Jerry rigged it so it would launch. Oh, <laughs> of course you did. And then Dad swiftly took the toy away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that, that, was, that was to be seen again. <laughs> you that going? It's like, until you learn responsibility, you're not getting this back. <laughs> responsibility? What's that? Yes. <laughs> I think I was just in stunned awe that I decapitated Michelangelo for pizza. Yeah, no. Sure. Pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> wow! The other thing I had that it was also shouldn't be was... Um, I had a domino rally set which had a thing which launched the domino sideways Ugh. so you could fling it a large dif distance to continue the chain of dominoes. Yeah. And yeah, you can turn that into a makeshift weapon. Yeah. God no. damn it. <laughs> you could turn anything into a weapon. Give you enough time and yeah. thought and probably. Yeah. It's just how you know it's just how you use it. Yeah. <laughs> So, Devin Wills is your weaponized as a kid. <laughs> Surprisingly, that'd be about it. Oh, alright. Hmm. <laughs> Other kids are like playing with these toys. Devin's trying to figure out how to weaponize them. Yeah. He was a bitch for his years. Yes. <laughs> Well, I used to have a, tr a trunk just full of toy weapons. 
right. like all the little plastic, like you swords and yeah. scythes and yeah. everything. So. <laughs> I even saw some of the new little, like, toy dart guns today. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> we had some of those when we were kids. Yeah. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I saw one It was an M14. Oh, wow. Type gun, because I was looking at, like, the trail sits propped up and just, like, the chain of darts. I'm like, cool. I... <laughs> oh, no, Nerf guns have come a long way, too. Yeah, like... So, like... I, I almost want to consider just buying a bunch of Nerf guns because. Oh. Well, so, uh, the new one I bought. Yeah. Is the is Nerf Rival? Yeah. Like, it comes right from the darts to the foam bar of balls. Yeah. Which still hurts! Yeah, no, like, whenever yeah. I think Nerf, I think not gonna hurt. But, yeah. like, I got shot with that. I was like, how? That kind of. Yeah, I know, like. You think. Like, this is a shot. It's like, ah. <laughs> like I mean, not enough to do any damage, but like enough to be like, ow. Yes. I was like, you would not want to shoot a small child with this. No. <laughs> <laughs> it says you. Okay, let's. I'll point out the audience here that I defended the small child. Cody would ar arm and lock and load. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you dirty child killer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was D&D. Yeah, now there's a story I have to explain to the audience, everyone. Yeah. Thanks, dumbass. Yeah. Oh, well. Quick, quick story. We do play a and d, &D. Um, We'll never probably... Advertise it because it's not really anything special. But Cody killed a chick kid in D and D because we used he accidentally used a loaded die. <laughs> <laughs> and did he learn his lesson? Nope. <laughs> there we go. Hey. <laughs> there have been no D and D kid deaths since. Very close though. Oh, yeah, very close. <laughs> they won. I can't, I'm not going into full well, detail, too. obviously. Okay. <laughs> Come on, our, Cody, show some hustle. <laughs> yeah. I don't think our audience really cares what we'd get up to in our D&D &D sessions. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> right, and a lot of them is just 200 to right now. Steve's <laughs> bees, like, screw that. <laughs> Anyone who's still out there listening to this, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for taking it out. We appreciate your viewership. Yeah. <laughs> no way, this will be Cody's final episode. <laughs> They're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but tune in next week for a severe beating of a Cody. <laughs> Alright, so nerf for nothing. Yeah, yeah back on topic. Yeah, back <clears throat> Yeah. So, did any of you guys have Nerf guns when you were kids? Nah, maybe. Sadly, no. How do you say maybe to that question? Yeah, like, <laughs> it, it's hard to remember. I think oh. I did. Too many blows to the head? <laughs> Probably. I did run into a lot of stuff as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> You're a special child. <laughs> oh, God. oh gosh, the kid in the helmet! I wish his parents did invest in that helmet for yeah. him. Wouldn't help. <laughs> you never know. You were that kid and you got the helmet on and you're like, oh boy, and it <laughs> ran into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Repeatedly. Yeah. Just to test it out. Because mm -hmm. you thought you were invincible. Yeah. Runs into a metal pole. Ah, I'm not invincible! <laughs> God, did you want paint chips when you were a kid? I guess while we're on the job, like, what's the worst childhood injury you guys ever suffered? Eh. Well, any major, like, I was the one who was telling out the injuries. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I don't remember exactly what I did, but I, I remember I thought I could fly. <laughs> I don't think any more needs to be said. <laughs> no, I think everyone can put two G's together on how that went. <laughs> oh, oh. And, oh. Yeah, it, and um, I just want to see like the scene of like you're tr- attempting. Your dad is watching from the window of the kitchen, and yeah. it's like your his wife is there. It's like should we stop him? No, let's see how far he gets on this. Yeah, yeah I was call the hospital. I was like, I'm not calling the ambulance. You're never gonna learn. I would. Yeah, I kind of bru- I think I bruised something to the point where I couldn't walk. Your ass? <laughs> no. Like, physically, I couldn't get up. Uh, maybe you land on his head. <laughs> well, the cushion landed because there's another in there. Yeah. I guess you're right. Okay, so it's my turn. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> It wasn't a toy-related injury. I was a bit of a daredevil when I was a kid. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I don't know how much we all were. <laughs> I don't know how much. Jackass. I was running on my parents' patio, and I don't mean on the patio itself. On the on like the armrests. Yeah. So I was oh. like, yeah. I used to do that until I fell off and. My, my arm went behind my back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's also supposed to bend that way. <laughs> oh, I know it does. <laughs> Actually, it was more like one of the bones dislo- uh, popped off. Oof. Ooh. That's not fun to get put back in the place. <laughs> Act, well, more like it broke, but yeah. it broke at a, like, it didn't shatter. It just yeah. snapped. Yeah, I snapped at one of the joints. Yeah. Ooh. So I had a casserole on that one. Yeah. Never ran on that patio again. <laughs> <That's not. laughs> it takes one good injury to yeah. deter you from doing that ever again. Yeah. yeah. I, was, um, I was playing on the stairs and I kind of lost my balance. I fell off and landed on my arm. Yeah. Didn't break anything. Just I couldn't move my arm for like a day. Whatever. Alright, so, I've never actually, like, broken anything, thank God. Oh. I had, like, stitches because I turned a golf club upside the head. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what? <laughs> so, me and my co- cousin were in his backyard, and we were playing Ninja Turtles, so... But obviously, like, we didn't have Ninja Turtle weapons, so we used golf clubs. <laughs> oh, I see where this is going. <laughs> oh, boy. And... I got a little too close to him as he's like wailing on the technodrum, which is just a pile of sticks. <laughs> <laughs> and as he swung back, the golf club caught me upside the head. Four! Yeah. Mm. I mean, that's the first time I've ever had like a crimson mask. Oh, man, no. <laughs> Where, like, you sit there, you're just in stun because you know you got hurt, yeah. but you can't determine how much damage. And then you just see the red form yeah. over your face. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I, I should go inside. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah this is gonna... serious. <laughs> oh, this is kind of serious. <laughs> it's like, what are you talking... Oh! Like, as my cousin's like, got his hands clasped over his mouth, like, oh my god, you're dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I killed my cousin! <laughs> Looks like I'm going to jail for life. <laughs> the only other thing I've done is winded myself like several times for doing something stupid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like um, playground equipment. Uh, we had that one where it had the, like the fireman's pole that you. Yeah. So I had this ingenious idea that I was going to run, jump, grab the fireman's pole like where it's like connected to the equipment, yeah. swing, and then grab the inner wall of the equipment. Oh yeah. Kind of like a weird Spider-Man. Um, of course, I would run, swing, lose my grip, and just slam into the God. ground. Oh. <laughs> Ow. And 
if you ever wind it yourself, it feels like you just like lost all air. You cannot mm. breathe. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> I know that feeling. Like I, I literally thought I was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I had a sort of playground enter at the school once. Um, chasing after somebody, and they they jumped into like that you know jungle gym thing. I couldn't stop in time. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> no 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 no! Worse. You went through it, didn't you? No no. Smashed my tooth. Into it. Ugh. Oh, tooth injuries are the worst. They're so painful. Oh. It's like, ah! <laughs> why do I have so many nerves in these? <laughs> I was like, oh god, half of it's missing. <laughs> well, that's dumb, dumber. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Uh-huh. Boy. <laughs> Sad thing, that's not my worst injury at school. Okay, what is? Because we're running out of time. Yeah. Concussion. <laughs> wow, okay, what happened? Um, During winter, uh, I went running, ac- trying to run across the parking lot. <laughs> so... I can see where this is kind of going. <laughs> yeah, Did I... Did you find out what black ice is all about? Yeah. I don't remember. Obviously, I slept. You were in a concussion. The, the, <laughs> the, oh, the next thing I remember is... See... I fell and smashed the back of my head. Yeah. Yet somehow I was on my stomach. <laughs> it bounced. Well, this explains a lot. Yeah. And, and, you know, people like clambering on me and I'm like... Get off of me! <laughs> yeah, so... Oh, that was not fun. Uh, that's when I kind of woke up in the spectrum classroom. <laughs> <laughs> I fell in the parking lot. That's, no, I woke up in here! Yes. <laughs> right. With that, we're running out of time, but I think we're going to make this a two-parter, because we're... Uh, <laughs> we got something going. Yes. People love injury stories. Oh, God, yeah. Anyways, thank you all for listening. This has been a Talk to Talk. I'm your host, Devin. Billy, dig it. Cody, peace out. David, see you later. Have a good one, guys. <laughs>